Hey YouTube and welcome back. Today is going to be a really quick tutorial that's going to save you a lot of times. What we are going to be doing is learning how to save presets. So this is going to let you save instruments, channel strip settings, uh, plugin configurations. Basically, once you find something you like, you might want to use it later. So we're going to go over how to save those and re-access them. So here I've got just a, an ES2 synth set up. Um, this is going to work with any kind of software instrument. Uh, let's just take a quick listen to what this is. Let's say we do a bunch of changes to it. I don't know. It's, it's... Now, now we've got a nice buzzy. Let's say we wanted to save this and use it later. What we can do is just click up here. Save as. We'll call this our buzzy saw synth. Go ahead and just save right where it uh, gives it to us in ES2. You can see there's a folder for every single one of your instruments and plugins. We'll save this to ES2. And now it appears in our list and we can pull it up whenever we want. So now let's say uh, after creating our saved ES2 preset, we go ahead and throw um, a reverb on there, maybe some distortion. got an EQ in here. We just happen to really like that sound. What we can actually do is in our channel strip, we can click setting, save channel strip setting as, we'll call it crunchy buzzy saw and save it into our instrument folder and then anytime we want to reaccess this we can uh, just do a new empty software instrument and it'll show up here so here's our crunchy buzzy saw if we open up our ES2 um, it's set to the same settings as our buzzy saw synth you can see nothing changed and that's how you save um, an instrument sort of channel strip now you can also apply this to audio tracks so, for example, um, we've got our vocals, vocal effect chain that I go over in a pre that I went over in a previous video, and we can save and load um, audio strips exactly the same as our software instruments. And finally, if we hit X to open up our mixer here, let's say that we um, something that I do a lot is I send my vocals to a bus. And then in here, I have all of my bus settings. So let's say I want to save a delay bus. This is a very common design pattern. What we're going to do is throw, let's just put a tape delay. Give it about 100 milliseconds. We're going to make it all the way wet because this is on a bus. And what we can do is save channel strip setting as. You'll note that this is now in the bus folder. Then we can call that vocal delay template. And then we can access that in the same way as before. And Logic actually comes with several of these built in. So you've got plenty of templates to actually start with, which is a very nice feature that Logic provides. That's it for today. It was a super quick tutorial. I hope you find this helpful. I encourage you to use this liberally and as much as possible while you're working. It's going to save you a lot of time in the long run. Those few clicks up front are going to save you thousands down the line. It only takes 10 seconds to set up and then you have it forever. Highly recommend saving presets of anything you like. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave the video a like. Subscribe to the channel for more Logic Pro 10 and music production tutorials. I just released a new song called Space, which I'll leave a link to down in the description. You can check it out on all the major streaming platforms under my artist name, MX-MR. I hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, night, whenever you may be watching this, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.